The world of art never stops turning. Let's take a look at some exhibitions opening up on Friday in this week's After Hours Report. Hello and welcome to the After Hours Report. I'm Maggie Young and today let's take a dive into the art world because tomorrow the McDonough Museum of Art on the campus of YSU will be opening up not one but two new exhibitions to the public. I joined museum director Claudia Berlinski at the McDonough to get a sneak peek and learn all about the exhibitions. On Friday at 11 a.m. our galleries will open with two exhibitions. Uh, the first exhibition in our lower galleries is the Student Art Association Annual Juried Exhibition. So we're very happy to host it live because uh, a year ago we had to do it on social media. Any student who took an art course last semester and um, given the coronavirus we even included last spring, if they took an art course they could enter artwork in the show. And so we have a huge variety of artworks that were entered from ceramics to sculpture, printmaking, drawing, painting, um, runs the gamut. We have a variety of levels of student work too from students who are just freshmen through seniors. And then in the upper galleries um, where we're standing right now in the adjacent gallery is the Bliss Kids Collective and the title of that show is Ellipsis. Bliss Kids is actually a collective of artists, many of whom are alumni from the art program. The whole concept was organized by Heather Sino and Steph Blair, who are alumni. And over the last few years, it's really, the size of the group has really grown and they have artists who are not alumni, but are local to the Youngstown area, as well as building more alumni as more people graduate. And so this particular show, is uh, each artist has three pieces in a series. So some of them work together like a triptych, meaning all three pieces are kind of like one piece. And then the other ones are just a series where the artworks are similar. Both shows will be on display for two weeks starting tomorrow. You can view them Tuesday through Saturday from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. If you feel like you're particularly vulnerable and you would like to come when no one else is here, you can call the museum offices at 330-941-1400 and we can talk about bringing you in on a Monday when we don't normally have the galleries open, but just the offices or maybe having you come in earlier in the day uh, before the galleries open um, Tuesday through Saturday. So unfortunately, we do not have any receptions like we normally would have had a reception on Friday night. But um, we are here and people have been coming. I know people are really eager to get out and see things. And we do have um, limits to how many people can be in each gallery. We have them capped at seven. That's not typically a problem. People seem to naturally space themselves out, you know, and just have a small group. Um, we do have hand sanitizer and a temperature station. We do require a mask and, you know, of course, social distancing. So, all of what, what you would expect. The McDonough is also offering a way for members of the community to get involved in an upcoming exhibit with the Scribe Program. The Scribe Program is a literary collaboration. One of the artists in the next exhibition, which opens February 26th, um, is a transgender artist. And we have invited members of the community and students to pick up a journal here and if they have um, feelings uh, that they would like to um, put in the journal in terms of prose, poetry, or artwork that is related to the subject matter, um, we encourage them to do that right away so that they can get as much information in that journal as possible because we'd like to display those in the gallery with the artist's work as well. In addition to that, you can also enjoy some musical performances virtually on the McDonough and Cliff College YouTube pages. Last semester, Kivikon Lipman, who is a professor of music in the Dana School of Music, and I 
worked out some details and he created this um, student honors uh, competition. So it's the McDonough Student Honors Recitals. And we have six students who will be doing recitals and uh, being recorded in the galleries for YouTube. He also invited some alumni last semester, which we've done again for this semester. So we have three alumni ensembles coming in. And then in terms of the muse, we have uh, two faculty performances. So Dr. Con Lipman will be performing solo and then we have the Dana Piano Trio who will, who will be recorded, you know, performing and recorded. And then um, the Student Composers class, which uh, will be at the end of the semester. We're here, we're open, you can be socially distanced, it's uh, stimulating. We have a huge amount of artwork in the four galleries and uh, again a huge variety of artwork so you'll find something that you'll like and I would encourage you to come and if you're worried at all just give us a call and you can find out all the information on our website, on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, any of those social media uh, platforms and uh, or like I said give us a call and we can give you all the information you need but um, I think you won't be disappointed if you come. There is a lot of art to be seen so get out there and check it out. Thank you all so much for joining me for this week's After Hours Report. Stay safe out there and I will see you all next week. Built for the 21st century American workforce, Eastern Gateway Community College has two campuses and is a national leader in online learning. EGCC.edu is a digital gateway where 30,000 students are quickly transforming their financial futures through degrees, certificates, transferable credits, and higher paying jobs. And now, residents of the Mahoning Valley can enroll in summer classes for free. It's the EGCC Summer Guarantee. Eastern Gateway, America's new workforce starts here.